Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run. Let's try again. Yesterday was not so great. Maggie is the day before. It was much better. I'm still using the controller. Let's see what this item room contains. It contains a farting baby. He farts. Who gives a shit? We're only going as far as Mom, which means we have to find a way through, which was true yesterday, but we didn't get that far yesterday, so it doesn't matter so much. It matters more now because we're not going to fuck up royally, are we? No. Pep talk, right. Sit down. Let's have the pep talk <coughs> from Dodgeball, which I'm sure I've seen, where it's a trope, right? You have to have the, the manager has to sit everyone down and say, look, we are very unlikely to succeed here some damage, that's okay. But nevertheless, we have to try. You know, we we are at a massive disadvantage. Everybody else is better than us. We may or may not be true in this situation. It may be absolutely true in this situation, but it may or may not be true, and we will assume that it is not. Having a Steven fight at the stage of the game is... Well, it, I mean, it gets out of the way, but that kind of implies that we had to have it. We know how. We all know how I feel about Steven. It's fine until this little joker breaks away and starts doing this bullshit. But I suddenly have to kill this bastard instead of that bastard. That one's following you, and this one's bouncing around like you can never believe. Just, uh, having taken a couple of hits of damage on this floor, our damage is actually now fairly good. Um, oh, fuck you. Hate it so much. Plus, uh, I'm trying to do this with the controller, as noted, but it's not like I'm any good at this in the first place, so... I mean, I'm kind of tempted to try and put in a bomb here like this and see if little Steven gets stuck behind it and dies anyway, which is exactly what happened, and I feel absolutely vindicated in having used a bomb in such a fashion. Plus, gave us that tinted tile, which will protect us from the inevitable damage on this floor uh, while I try to earn a deal with the devil. Now, the problem with deal with the devil as Samson is that if you don't have the HP necessary to use a, a, a blood bank, then Samson's main uh, main advantage, which is the fact that he starts with bloody lust, somewhat compromised. Thank kill any of these first. That actually went pretty well. Um, because you can't use the IV bag and you can't use the blood bank that you get the IV bag IV bag from um, if you don't have the HP necessary to you know make it viable. However, not taking the deal with the devil could be a bigger disadvantage to you over the course of the run than not being able to use the IV bag, which is of course not guaranteed, uh, not necessarily even all that likely. We'll hold off taking that eternal heart. I don't want to lose it by playing badly, which seems to be the the, the mode d'etre, is that a thing? The mode d'emploi, the way this road is... road? The ra right. Hi everyone, welcome to a uh, Samsung. Look. I've had a couple of jurors. <laughs> Everyone knows you can't just not drink whiskey. It's not how whiskey works. That was bad damage, but how the fuck are you supposed to deal with that, honestly? What you do is you blow up this tinted rock and try and get a spirit heart out of it before you fuck up the rest of this room. And probably not going to happen, judging by the fact we don't have a key in order to see whether there is a tinted rock in this chest. Ah. So don't get hit. Continue to not get hit. By which I mean <laughs> as if that has been the trend thus far continue to do what you have not been doing, if you don't mind. Now this boss fight could be really, really bad for us, or it could be really, really good for us. So just as which is not really what we need, but we'll see what it contains. It does contain a key, which we can use to get into this item room. Which is lucky, because we didn't have one. And we get Chemical Peel, which is a damage upgrade, but it's not... I don't even think it's as good a damage, as damage upgrade as simply the fact we've been hit twice. Take this. It's a little horn, which we can do and have done before without getting hit. I should get rid of this orange fire. Often keeping these fires around is an advantage to you when against Little Horn because Little Horn can just walk straight into the fire, which is something that we would like to see happen. But having an orange fire capable of shooting us sort of as additional damage against us is probably a bad idea, so we sh should, as we have done, get rid of that. Um, I'd like for that bomb not to explode that fire, but that is not how that's going to work. Okay. I would also like for Little Horn to actually explode himself with his own bomb, which happens often enough that I can feel vindicated, <laughs> Jesus, vindicated in requesting it. We have done it. We get our deal with the devil and our damage and range upgrade, which is actually really good. And this is an excellent deal with the devil, not least because it gives us all that HP back, but also because it only costs one heart, which we now go and replace by taking this eternal heart. I remembered it. You thought I was going to forget. Everyone was holding their breaths or just not watching. Another two. 
we picked up. So we'll get our HP back as a result of that, which I'm pretty happy with actually. Gives us the 3 HP we need to be able to use a blood bank. It does of course require that we find a blood bank, which is not going to happen on this floor because they only happen on second floors. Um, but on top of that we don't have 5 cents and we have yet to find such a heady amount of money at all in this run. It's not like we spent it. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Just uh, make me feel a little bit foolish for complaining, but at the same time I'm not going to be made to feel foolish for complaining. There's a bit more cash, so this could at least give us the opportunity to get... Thank you, farting baby, I really appreciate that. Um, give us the opportunity to get that blood bank on the next floor, which could actually be really strong for us. We haven't actually picked up a spacebar item right yet, so having the IV bag is not a bad option if we can get it. And of course, having um, the blood bag, which is the other thing the blood bank can pay out with, just for the extra HP and I believe a small speed upgrade, although I'm not sure about that, um, is also a perfectly cromulent outcome of doing the, the blood bank meta in the first place. So basically, as long as we get a blood bank on the next floor, we'll at least have the damage on the next floor from the blood bank itself. We should use this key on the item room, I think. Uh, no, because we can buy a key in the shop if there is one. If there isn't. <laughs> what if there isn't one? Hmm. Don't ask questions. There wasn't even five cents there, which is kind of annoying. I mean, PhD is a pretty decent item. At least makes it worthwhile picking up uh, pills, even though they're not guaranteed to be good. They're not guaranteed. They're guaranteed not to hurt you, I think, or something like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure are you a wizard counts as a decent kill for PhD purposes. We might as well fight the boss. We're actually going pretty fast, mostly because this floor took no time at all. But I would like to get more value out of this floor if possible. Mostly I'd like to get <laughs> into the item room because we gambled on the shop and it didn't pay off. Ow. Now I, I kind of, I didn't give uh, Farting Baby the due credit. Farting Baby is great in the same way that um, Dry Baby is great, except not as good. So it has the ability, basically you hide behind it and it blocks shots, which is super good. I really appreciate that in any um, in any item. We did that deal with the devil. We'll pick up this afterwards and it's Krampus, so we don't need to worry about HP. There's no move. Shit. He did it twice in a row. That's just BS, bro. And now he's rotating like a motherfucker. Look. This is a bullshit fight. Stop doing that shit. Because you can't hit him if he's doing that shit. That's the thing. There we go. Lumpercoal is actually, I mean, in that situation I wouldn't have minded either payout, but Lumpercoal is pretty good, it's damage upgrade, and of course it will continue to stack as we take damage. Um, yeah, Farting Baby will get in the way of shots, but it doesn't, oh, that could have been any item and it turned out to be the shittest one in the game. Ah, it's not that shit. Uh, yes, it is that shit, it's not the other one, it's Milk, uh, which gives you a speed upgrade, or at least a tears upgrade, one of the two. Holy Water is just shit. So, five more bombs. It doesn't really pay for itself, that's the thing. Because we've got so many golden chests to open, we should probably go and look for more keys then. Also, I don't like scatter bombs because I always forget I got them. I mean, Dry Baby is preferable to Farting Baby because Dry Baby causes a Necronomicon effect occasionally when it gets hit. We did find more keys though. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave now. We'll keep one key for the next... Uh, yeah, we'll keep one key for the next floor because... I'm not really thinking necessarily about buying anything. We'll open this and see if we get more keys. We didn't. We got a trinket though, and I didn't even see this, so I'm glad I came back. And we've got the Empress card, which will give us a benefit against the boss, but I'm going to try and speed up and get to boss rush, because that's the only advantage that we can get on this run, provided we don't find something like the AUR's rune to get us further. So hoping for a... Hoping for an arcade and hoping the arcade contains a blood bank and hoping the blood bank pays out with something like the IV bag, by which I mean the IV bag, not just something like it. Literally it. We have 15 cents now, which could buy us an item as well. And there's a chance we can get into the boss trap room here, just as a result of it being next to a secret room, but it's kind of looking less likely just based on the fact that there's rarely a secret room next to this room. And this is bullshit. What's this guy doing? Come on now. Hello? So many batteries and nothing to recharge. This is pretty useful though. Normally there's a rock here, which makes this room a lot more bullshit than it's turned out to be this time. We'll take the world card. There is a secret room, and don't forget to scatter bombs. Well done. Uh, there is a secret room here, which has given us even more bombs. We can get into our 
boss trap room, and there's an arcade on the other side of us, but we'll pay to get into there, that's fine. Hmm, well we have to, I mean we have to do it out of the fact that we need to do this room for um, points, but maybe I should have gone and played the arcade first to get a damage upgrade. That would have actually been a really good idea, because it would have at least made it go faster, if not actually guaranteed us a, a flawless, damageless uh, victory on this room. Okie dokie, I accidentally opened this, but we have got some advantage out of it. We could buy or gamble for a key now, which is probably a good idea because we don't have one and we want to get into the item room. Uh, hello, what are you doing? Might as well give you a, a scatter bomb. Here you go. Don't really fancy that particular thing you gave me, but I appreciate the gesture nonetheless. So we're doing okay damage, especially if we stay at range and use, um, use uh, the blood of coal there. Get a key back. I feel okay about that. This could give us some more money, which I will trade the um, the bomb for. Because we have plenty of bombs as a result of the previous item room. And now we can afford to go to the item room using our single key. Oh, right, we haven't actually fought this room yet, so do so. Seems like a good idea. Our damage is fine, especially for having not been hit on this floor yet. I mean, we don't have any bonus currently from Bloody Lust, which we now will. And honestly, that's interesting. I don't know if that's a bug or intended behaviour, but what just happened was that the golden heart that we had, which breaks when you lose the heart, in my understanding, would break and give you money when you lose the heart that it's surrounding. But actually it broke when we lost our first red heart, which we did entirely on purpose. We now have three keys, so somehow we managed to turn our key game around completely, which is very nice. And our damage now is outrageous, but of course it won't last, so don't get used to it. Um, this is Mega Beam. This is shit. Apparently we have Curse of the Maze, but that's okay. I would probably like to go to the shop, but I'm not sure whether I want to spend the time to get there. Do you know what I mean? It's a long way away. Maybe we use Mega Beam on our boss. Good. Um, we'll see. I mean, I don't feel like Mega Beam has any value at all. I'm not sure about how it works, so we should at least experiment while we have it. My hypothesis is that the fissure that it creates, that was a very quick fight by the way, I don't even notice. My hypothesis is that the fissure it creates, take both of these. Quick while you've been damaged once. That was very difficult to do with the controller by the way. Um, goes in the direction that you are pointing, that you are firing at the time that you use it. Oh, we can fly now, so we can do this. Excellent. I do like to be able to fly because it just gives you that super advantage, just like this. Even if you don't count the maneuverability that you get, which allows you to ignore things like creep, dance around rocks, etc. Oops. Hang out over fissures. It also allows you to collect things that would otherwise be completely unattainable. So I, even though we've now only got one HP left, and I probably could have min-maxed it a little bit better, Having the ability to fly it completely makes up for all of that. And we do have a tinder drop here, but I am going to it fail to explode. So we'll, uh, we'll use another bomb, I'm not too worried about that. Incidentally, Empress, what was the other one? Hierophant, we'll use that straight away. The trinket that we do have, the pair of scissors down there, it causes troll bombs to turn into normal bombs before they explode, which is excellent. I consider that to be an extremely valuable item. Check this card. Judgment. Judgment is money judgment. We could get some cash back, uh, some HP back here. So I'm going to give him some money. Basically until it pays out. Two of Cubs is probably good enough to just use, I think. I was going to say good enough to keep, but it's not on reflection. HP, please. Not HP. HP up. One. Makes you that size up. Balls of steel is great. It's equivalent to an HP up. And bad trip and you down, of course. I can see forever is also pretty good, but it doesn't help us on this floor. We've already found both of our secret rooms. I will spend some more HP just looking in the blood bank to see if we can get that one final play that gives us something we actually care about, unlike Gigafart. If anything other than Gigafart shows up, I'm going to be perfectly happy to take it. Right. I say anything. I mean anything from the blood bank right now. Nothing. That's fine. I'm not going to go too hard on that because we're going to lose all of our damage bonus when we go down to the next floor anyway. But I was hoping to get 
the IV bag so we could recuperate that damage bonus. It would have to be slowly because I didn't want to give it any of the spirit hearts. But as we pick up red HP, which is much more likely now that we can fly, we can start to give that to the, the blood bag, the IV bag, which we currently don't have. So that went in the direction that I was moving and that I was firing. So that wasn't very scientific of me. So slap on the wrist, bad scientist. That's fine. See, our damage when we're not IV back, when we haven't taken any damage so far, is fine. But it doesn't really fill me with a huge amount of confidence. So that's the direction I was firing, but I wasn't moving. And the last direction that I'd moved was backwards, the opposite direction. So I feel like Gigafart fires a fissure in the direction that you're firing yourself. Hello, host. Got a pill to take as a range down, which is down. okay. I mean, it's not okay in the sense of that's a pill that I don't mind. I mind it, but it could be worse. Friendly fly is an okay item, though. I do like being able to do damage outside of... Thank you. Uh, outside of my tears. If for some reason my tears are incapacitated. Or just not good enough. Like, it's additional bonus. If you're close enough to an enemy, you don't have to shoot it. And in fact, you can damage something else if it gets close to you. So that's nice. Our tears, by the way, are not just... Um, not just... Not only can we fly, let's put it that way. But our tears are spectral, so we can shoot through rocks. But not other enemies, so it would be nice to get piercing shot as well. How is this... N oh, I haven't actually tried this. That's almost certainly a secret right there. It is. Let's, um, let's not get hit and avoid it. That was pretty good. I mean, when you know how to use Gigafight, you can see that it has some benefit, but honestly, I don't think it has anything on our actual tiers. Um, what are we on here? Depths 1. We have some time, but I think I'd like to have as much time as possible on the next floor to get to boss rush. And if we can't find a way through, then that's it. But it is a mercifully short run, I suppose, so there is that. But it would be nice to be able to cheese a way out. We can use the Empress card on Boss Rush in order to give ourselves a greater advantage of being able to beat it, because of course the Empress card lasts for the room that you're in, and Boss Rush counts as one massive room, so the Empress card will last for the entirety of that time. And we can get into here for half price, although we do have to deal with this bastard, which is, as far as I'm concerned, much a greater a price. Pandora's box. I guess we use it now because we're not going any further, at least we're not guaranteed to. All it gives us is all this money, which is great because this is the last um, shop that we're going to see. Health a health upgrade, up. which is also cool. And if we didn't roll a... Ranger, cool. We got our range back. If we didn't roll an arcade on this one, we're going to be a little bit sad because we have 95 cents. We're definitely above the 5 cent gate required to spawn an arcade, but it's still random whether it will happen or not. I'm not sure what the chances are, but all we have is the chance. This is a sort of enemy that makes me very pleased to have an orbital handy, because you don't have to play its bullshit games. You, know, you just shoot as you will, or just fail to shoot entirely, who cares? Yes, we'll go in here. I regret this immediately. Yeah, try it. I will shoot through the rocks, and you can go fuck yourself. How about that? All that did was cost us points, so I probably shouldn't have taken it. Taken some damage, but it's okay. I'd like to go a little bit faster if entirely possible. I definitely want to be in boss rush. And we're not even going to be able to use our Gigafire every single uh, wave of boss rush, because it has a three-room charge, which is... I think the three-room charge on Gigafire just makes it shit, right? Because it's not a very good item. It doesn't do anything useful. I think it can break rocks. I mean, yay. I can break rocks myself. With 32 bombs. It's so niche that it actually turns out to be very useful for you, but the three room charge only really affects you in a very specific set of situations. We didn't get anything really of value out of that, apart from our key back, provided I can take it without accidentally opening another one, which is exactly what happens. So, yeah. Please. These. These jokers. Leave me alone. Good. We've got 99 cents. There's no point, no point picking up further. Go the dollar here. I think you get a tiny amount of points for doing so, but at the same time... No secret room. I'm also pretty sure that it takes longer to pick it up in terms of points. I don't really want that. Than it does to... Just leave it. 
our scatter bombs found as a secret room. It's pretty sweet. Secret room contains bombs. We might as well go out this way. I'm still looking for the item room, I think. Yeah. Can't get in there without finding an arcade. This floor, though. Please. Let me through. So this is another direction. By which I mean, it's not just one more room. Which is filling me with doubt that we're going to be able to make it to boss rush and do everything that we want to do. But this is the last room we have to do, so I think we should be okay. We need to beat Mom very quickly, though. We got kidney bean, which is even worse, but we did get this arcade, so we'll do the arcade. The arcade will give us at least a bit of damage, and then we'll go. Don't want to pick those up, it takes too long. Such a long way, but we don't have to worry about things like spikes, so I'm just going to hold the button and hope that we can... <sighs> whatever. This stops us getting quite so many spacebar items, which honestly does not matter. We have an orbital, which is certainly going to help us against Mom here. It's doing a reasonable amount of damage. We've only got 35, 25 seconds to deal with this, so... Take as much damage as you need, man. Get your own H uh, get your own tier damage up high as possible. If it involves getting hit a lot yourself, so be it. Nearly there, we've done it. Right, let's get into boss rush. We'll take this, not that it seems to matter too much. We will, oh, we'll definitely take Death's Touch. Thank you for the offer. And hopefully we'll get something here that at least gives us the opportunity to go down to the next floor. But if not, I think we're going to lose out against people who have found such a thing. Because it's so easy for a run to have a way through like that, but not make it plain where it is. I mean, these fishers, you can't even... You can't even... Ensure that they'll go in the direction you're pointing. They have a randomness to them once they've left. It's really annoying. Plus, the actual bar effect itself, I believe, has basically zero effect on the enemies. I'm trying to clear out this riffraff because I'd like to not accidentally walk into one of these greasy poops. Uh, maybe the fart effect is what caused them to freeze. So that that's a pretty nice effect, but it doesn't last very long. So it's whew, really not worth too much in my book. We haven't found anything better. I mean, Kidney Bean is actually worse than uh, Giga Fart here. So. Bit of a shit run in terms of awesome items because there were none. There was none. So, I guess we just do our best. Dip, dip, dip. Let's get rid of this Joker first. That one can shoot us from across the room, but this one can walk into us when we're least expecting it. Happens all the time, shouldn't worry about it. I think that's us. We are basically done with this run. We should take that. Just in case. We didn't take that. We should take that. Just in case. In case the opportunity leaves us for some reason. Uh, at least it's a few extra points, right? And just try to take as little damage as possible on boss rush because this is your last opportunity to not waste points on um I'm sorry, what was that? That was a new wave noise. I mean, in fact it was a creating enemies monster two noise. This is our last opportunity not to ruin the run with stupid amount of damage, bonus, loss. Damage, unbonus. Damage penalty. Thank you from the side wings there. Reminding me how to speak English. Hello. There's a certain flow to using the controller. This makes it slightly easier than using a keyboard. It feels less frantic to try and get the character to go well, excuse me, to go in the direction that I'd like it to. That was much easier than it was when it first showed up. Um, what were you facing for? I don't even know. Oh, it's a fucking horn. I wonder I can't do anything about it. But at the same time, that only really applies in the general case. Sort of, of when you want to manoeuvre around enemies and things like this. When you need to do something precision, like walk through spikes to pick up the ability to fly in order to not get hit by spikes in future. Or just have the ability to dodge at all, ever. It's kind of a little bit lacking. It's lackluster. But host hat. Ta-da! We'll take it because it costs us points. That's it. No way down. I can see... 266. That means many people didn't find a way through. 
makes me happy that it was a, such a short run and thank you for watching it and I hope to see you in the next one.